today we are going to learn class 4 english unit 1 wake up listen to the poem carefully wake up wake up it's a lovely day oh please get up and come and play it's much too late to lie in bed so hurry up you sleepy head wash and dress and come on out everyone is up and about the cow the horses the ducks and the sheep the tiniest chicken chip 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 wake up now we will learn some new words from this poem let's see the first word lovely what is the meaning of lovely lovely means very pleasing or beautiful buzzing the meaning of buzzing is the sound produced by flying bees sleepy head the meaning of the word sleepy head is a very tired person the next word is tiniest and the meaning of the tiniest is a very small thing very small now we'll learn some question answers first question what do you think birds say to each other in the morning very good i think birds say good morning to each other in the morning what do you say in the morning you say good morning to each other here are two birds shasha and humpa humpa is saying good morning to shasha good morning shasha then shasha replies good morning humpa question number 2 who are already awake right birds bees cow horses ducks sheep and chickens are already awake birds bees cows horses ducks sheep and chickens are already awake question number 3 which creatures wake up in the morning before the child does right birds bees cow horses ducks sheep and chickens wake up in the morning before the child does see the sleeping child say the words aloud boy and bee these words begin with b sound boy and bee boy b sound b b sound can you say some more words which begin with b sound right the words like ball bat bag big bus banana boot big etc now we will practice one tongue twister so let's say it aloud let's say betty bought a bit of butter but the bit of butter that betty bought was bitter so betty bought some better butter to make the bitter butter better now try to say it by yourself read it properly don't make a mistake now let's write some important things connect the pair of sentences below using and or but time to get up for school i want to sleep for some more time these are two different sentences that we have to join by using and or but so here what we can use let's see it is time to get up for school 
but I want to sleep for some more time. So we have used but here. Next sentence. Sheila got some chocolates for her birthday. She got some new clothes too. Here we can use and to join these two sentences. Sheila got some chocolates for her birthday and some new clothes too. Now try to make some sentences by yourself. Everyone has gone to sleep. I want to read my book. Next one is Raju plays cricket. He also plays hockey. So let's see the first one. Pause the video and try to make the sentence. Very good. Everyone has gone to sleep. But I want to read my book. We have used but here. Now let's see the next sentence. Raju plays cricket. He also plays hockey. And the answer is Raju plays cricket but he also plays hockey. So here we have used but and and in different sentences. Try to make such new sentences by yourself. Pause the video and write down these sentences. Now we learn different forms of adjectives. Here the first word is a positive degree, second word is a comparative degree and the third word is the third word is a superlative degree. So tiny converts to tinier and then the tiniest. So when we compare two things, we use these adjectives about that particular thing to compare. Big, bigger, biggest. Then sleepy, sleepier, sleepiest then lovely lovelier and loveliest then the next word is late later and then this later converts to the latest then the next word is round then it converts to rounder and the last that is superlative form is roundest then the small and it converts to smaller and then it becomes smallest but the last word that is good it is a positive degree but it does not take er with it to change into gooder it becomes better and the superlative form of the good is best so here good better best now all the words does not take er at the end or est at the end to change the degree form some words directly changes into other form of the degrees now we will see some examples that how to use these words into sentences in our next video like the video and subscribe Thank you.